right here. I'm telling you, if you have not seen them on stage, and I'm not gassing you just because they're sitting here, trust me, they are doing their thing. Now let's talk about this live instrument thing you got going on, because you play, you play, you sitting there blowing your lungs out. <laughs> Why did y'all, you know, make that switch and just say, well, we're not going to be like any other hip-hop crew. We're coming out like this. Well, I mean, it was just, you know, like in growing up in hip-hop with the whole Slick Rick era, you know, the whole Run DMC, you know, hip-hop is constantly changing. We just wanted to keep it hip-hop, underground, but to bring it to another level, you know? So we said to do that, let's just bring out the instruments. Because if I play a guitar or a bass, I ain't gonna hold my talent back, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It has to manifest, you know? And if I'm a real person and I'm representing my people, it's gonna manifest through the instruments and through the lyrics that, you know, that comes through me. You know, you can't be like, to keep it real, you can't play a guitar or a piano or a bass, you know. We originated all this stuff, right. you know what I'm saying? All this music comes from us, and all we're doing is we're bringing it back. Now, are you just using live instruments on stage, or are you, like, in the studio, you know, playing and well, carrying mean, on? Well, I mean, it's real, you know. I mean, a lot of people, when you hear live instruments, the DJ, of course, is the foundation of everything, you know. But I like, if you hear a drummer playing, I want you to see that drummer. You know what I'm saying? Live, the bass player. I want you to see the motion. And it's not something that we just come up doing live. You know what I'm saying? It's something that we've been doing all of our lives. I've been playing guitar ever since, you know, I was a little kid. So it's not like I grew, you know, I said, oh, let me just pull out the guitar and play. You know, and she's been singing ever since she came out of her mother's womb. So it's like... Hey, don't talk so. about my mother's womb. What's going on on TV, man? I wish my mother's womb had lungs like that, because I can't sing. Same, but um, I mean, it's like music for us is real important. Um, I don't remember my life without hip-hop, but I'm not going to stop singing just because I'm mm -hmm. a um, hip-hop, but people have this myth that you can't be musical and still do rap at the same time and be real about it. So um, that's sort of we're trying to get away from, from that mythology, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When people see our shows, I mean, we can rock shows with, like, sound garden, but where we really like to perform is, is in the ghetto, you know what I'm saying, in right, the hood, right, where the kids right. who understand our music, they see it on, on stage, and they understand that the bass line you hear on the track is the same bass line you're seeing played, and the drum lick, and, you know, this and that. And we just like giving it to them live. Like, we're the product of the disco era, and once that, the disco music sort of took everything on a mechanical level as opposed to the acoustic level, we're just bringing it back to the roots. Girl, I love my disco music. Yeah, disco gets down. So did you at one point think, okay, I'm gonna be Patti LaBelle, and I'm gonna come out with some R&B because I can take it like that? Or... Nah, I wanted to be Donny Hathaway. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's what I wanted to be, but um, I wasn't really feeling um, the way R&B was going. Mm -hmm. So I was like young, and these guys were like, yo, L, start rapping, and I started rapping, and my little raps were very good. I want to let y'all know, but okay. they used to tell me that they were whack, so just, you know, uh, just wanting to say something, you know what I'm saying, and, and rhyming over time made it made us all better as a crew. Now, for us, you got some skills over there on the keyboard. What else do you play? I just mess with the keys, sometimes I mess with the drums, but, you know. He used to play a trumpet. Kids don't you know, know that. He called me out like okay. that. <laughs> he wasn't very good, Ross, though. Ross, you trying for your trumpet lesson. <laughs> nah, I mean, you know, I grew up in the church, you know, so it's like, we all are musical and Line, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's the vibe right there, you know? That's what we're trying to bring on stage mm -hmm. for the people, you know? And it's definitely coming across. Now, Clef and I were talking real quick, and he was saying that he's just not in it to be making a loop and all that because he wants to score films and, and movies and, you know, all that kind of thing. Is, is that how it is with you? Yeah, I, I want to make uh, real music, especially a lot of R&B if I ever sing on the album. I want to make some, some, some real musical, musical R&B that's sort of talking about more than just love and sex. Right, right. Cool. Well, we're going to keep it flowing right here on Rap City. Yo, Prague, why don't you kick it to Nappy Heads? Because I love that video. Um, this is Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Nappy Heads. <laughs> you know, check it out. Yes, sir. Rap City, BT. Yeah. <laughs>